All right, how's it going, everybody? Um, yeah, man. So this is another update of Wealthfront. Um, I think this is the yeah. The, so yeah, because I just did the fun round. So I mean, this this update will probably be the first update of 2020. So first quarter, basically. And you know, on this on these updates, I basically just you know we just go over some returns. Uh, we just look at the charts and then, you know, we look at the allocations at some point and we just do a little bit of talking on this uh, update because there's not much to say on these updates. Um, Wealthfront does literally everything for you. It's one of the main reasons why I got with them. Um, and, you know, the other reasons are you know, why, how smart they got with technology and investing, you know, the type of things that this, you know, software does in the back or, you know, just on the side is incredible, man. And it aligns with a lot of my plans. If you guys saw my video, um, where I use the RMC calculator, um, Wealthfront is one of those companies that helps me out a lot with taxes. And, you know, we'll just start with our 2020 returns right now. So, as you guys can see, hey, man, <laughs> that Corona, man, making its rounds. All right, that's Corona's out here making rounds. So, and as you guys can see, man, regardless, good times and bad times, we're continuing to still add money. All right. Um, I feel fairly confident. And adding money to Wealthfront because I know it's not my emotional decisions that are, you know, taking part in this. It's calcul well calculated decisions from professionals of, you know, Wealthfront. So it's why I'm able to put three grand into this account month after month without breaking a sweat. So uh, what's good about this year so far is the amount that I have tax loss harvested. I already got $3,000 for this year alone. You know, and I think, I want to say, I think 3000 is the max that you can, um, I forgot what it's called that you can write off, but basically, say this corona went away tomorrow and the stock market just rose, I still can write off three grand off of my returns. So, you know, I think that's kind of, it's kind of neat. Um, as far as money weighted return, I don't go off of money weighted returns because money weighted returns um, counts into the fact of my initial deposits and stuff, deposits and withdrawals. And because I don't personally manage this account, um, I usually go off a of time weighted return. Time weighted return um, kind of gauges more of the uh, fund rise, not fund, <laughs> wealth front. So I just I literally just did a fundrise video. That's why I said that. But uh, Wealthfront as an investment advisor, rather than me. So, you know, this is more of an accurate description of Wealthfront. So, um, you know, everything seems to be balanced out right now. I mean, nothing too crazy. Um, it's nice to know that you know all this is done you know for me. Although I have been seeing a lot of activity going through this account within you know last couple of days so but you know negative down 12 percent um you know something you gotta understand is uh this is just for 2020 you know if we look at all time um you know it's eight percent so you know i think it's pretty good man at the end of the day you know i'm, I'm a long man's game you know like it's i'm not here for short term you know, you're not going to see me playing this dividend game. I mean, only 8% of my portfolio is in dividends. So, um, you know, this is also what I kind of see as being, like, truly diversified. Um, I've been doing a lot of reading on Wealthfront, man. They got a whole bunch of material that I like to use. But, yeah, man, like, it's crazy that I've almost been with these guys for three years now. Time is freaking flying like it's insane man one thing i will say though before we go to the overview is i like how they separate net deposits from the actual account value 
I really like that I can see the money that I'm putting in because it kind of, you know, shows me, you know, where I'm at. I don't think there's not a lot of companies that show you how you're actually doing in comparison to your deposits. And, you know, I kind of think M1 Finance is getting over a lot of people and doing that, but who knows? Somebody will figure it out at some point. Um, portfolio line of credit. This changes every day. You know, this goes off the amount that I have, the account value that I have. Um, speaking of value, uh, right now I've got like $60,000 that I've put in this account. And my portfolio is worth 56000 So um, next month I'll be adding another three grand. And, uh, you know, we're just going to continue to go, man. You know, nothing's going to really stop me from adding money to the market. So, and this is why I tell you guys to increase your income, increase your savings rate, and increase your, uh, or sorry, to get 100% out of debt, all right? And when, you, when you do these things, man, there's, there's not much to worry about at that point, man. So, uh, going to the overview um, you know, we're at 66000 Um At a minimum, I want to hit $200,000 um, if possible. And I think it might be possible uh, when I pin E7 this year. Uh, when I pin E7, I should be able to contribute five grand a month instead of four grand. And that, that should help me out with that. So, um you know, like now, man, no, nothing else has changed, man. Nothing too crazy. Uh, but I do want to say, man, like my goals have been changing. And lately, man, I've been trying to crunch the numbers down. And I want to try to be a millionaire by 35. I know, you know, Wolf Front says by 38 I should. And the, understand these numbers change all the time, especially with this, you know, corona going around. But my goal would be to try to make it by the time I'm done with my military service. Because I'm probably going to need this money to help, you know, fund my business at some point. So I want to say, you know, actually I'll be done with my career at like 40. So, but I would like it before then. Because compounding interest, man, is not a game. And to kind of display it, we'll go here. So, Wolfront has a super nice calculator. And I've talked about it briefly on some of my older videos. But I want to, you know, touch on it a little more. You know, go into, you know, a little more depth, man. I figure, like, I'm always talking about savings rate. But I never show people like how it can affect you and these calculators on here are awesome so right now you know I'm contributing four thousand dollars a month so you know what I like to do is play around with this knob right here and it says what if you saved so you know what if I saved an extra thousand dollars a month you know what, what would that look like you know, at 43, I'll have over 2 mil. But say I wanted to stop, you know, retire at, like I said, you know, 30, 35, you know. The reason this green line is here is because of what I, you know, want to spend at that point. Now, what's also cool is I could change this too. Let me see something. Can I change it? I thought, I, oh yeah, yeah, I can't change it. So, um, you know, you can say, hey man, what what is it that I'm trying to spend? I already put spendy to try to push my limits. But sometimes I go in here and I'm just like, you know what, man? You know, I only, I'll, I'll push my retirement date a little further back. You know, after, you know, I'm finished with my military career. And, you know, I'm going to start, I'm going to live it up, man. You know, I'm talking about I'm living in a super nice condo, you know, up here in Boston. I'm probably living downtown Boston, 13th floor, spending something cray each month. You know, what is that, that going to look like? Sorry, that's just spending. 
I, don't, I, don't, I can't really change that without going into messing up a lot of stuff. But, you know, let, let's just say, you know, it's like that. So, I like this calculator because this calculator shows you real quick if what you're doing is a little sketchy. Alright? So, um, it says that it's possible. What you will have is in this little orange, and what you'll need is the gray. So the only time that this is becomes like that it's not possible is if, or actually now, if it was possible, it would have been green. So when it's not possible, it'll turn orange. And this little knob right here tells you what you need. And it even tells you right here, man, you need to save 5400 to reach that goal. So in order to spend seven grand a month, I would have to save up 5400 Or what I can actually do is basically push out my date. So if I were to push out my date an extra five years, I would have more than enough money to achieve what it is I want. So basically what I'm telling you guys is, you know, if... You know, you plan on just living like a random life and, you know, like I see some of these YouTubers putting in gas money inside their accounts. And I say that because I know people can do a better job, but people just don't want to. So, you know, if I was putting in gas money, I wouldn't be able to live this type of, you know, extravagant life that I'm looking for or at a minimum financial independence you know I know a lot of people are trying to wait till their 60s to do it but that's too long man that's too long man and, you know, as a man in my 40s that's my prime and I'm definitely not wasting those so you know like I, I don't mind putting in the work today you know I'll put in the work you know I'll freaking sacrifice a couple of vacations now so that I'm able to, you know, live comfortably, all right? You know, I'm not going to settle with just 200000 and trying to, you know, move to the Philippines or something. So, it's what you're going to see from this channel, man. Me going that extra, extra mile to try to achieve, what was I at? I think I was at like 43 was that 43? No, I wasn't at 43. I think I was at 41. Either way, it's it's one of these. Whenever I'm done with the military, I'm probably just going to stop adding money. Because, I mean, if, if I haven't, you know, gotten to where I need it to be by that time, then I don't really care. So... Yeah, man, but this just goes to show you how, one, how cool this calculator is, and two, what savings rate gets you, all right? The more money you put down, the more money you'll have later on, all right? And the reason I'm comfortable with putting it with Wealthfront is because these guys are going to help me with taxes along the way, man, and Lord knows I'm going to need it. So one day, man, I hope to even, I hope, one day I hope to, like, put, like, 10 grand or 8 grand a month to my account that would, that would be awesome man I definitely wouldn't have to do anything afterwards or I can definitely like start my business sooner than later so but yeah man um, I think that's all I got for this update um, nothing too crazy man I gotta tell you guys man I mean these these updates that I do is mainly for myself and you know for you know a couple people I work with, but other than that, um, yeah, man, that's, that's about the update for now. I'm thinking about waiting, like, maybe till December to maybe do an update. Maybe I'll have, like, a, you know, maybe I'll have enough to talk about. I think the next time I might do an update is when Wealthfront um, does their new uh 
service on this cash account. They got a new, they got a lot of stuff coming for this cash account apparently. And uh, who knows, man? Who knows? Maybe it might be my uh, my next go to, man. Maybe it might be the new bank. Who knows? I am kind of salty though. I didn't win that twenty five thousand, man. I mean, I would have threw all that. I, I'm telling you, I would have threw every single dime of that inside of my taxable account, like all twenty five thousand of it. Um, they did raise the uh, APY. They did raise the uh, interest rate. So, but you guys already know I don't really care about interest rates. I mean, it's a savings account. Yeah, if you're, if, if you're out here trying to make money on a savings account, then you got a long way to go, man. Yeah, man, but I think that's it. I, ain't, I don't think I got nothing else, man, to put in. I'm probably going to knock out a little more reading and then probably get some sleep, man. So, yeah, man, if you guys got any questions or anything, uh, hit me up in the bottom or in the comment section. And, uh, yeah, man, that's it. Millennials. Lead the way.